Hello guys and uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Offersen and uh, today we are going to talk a little bit more about uh, collagen or uh, we are more going to talk about how you can take care of uh, the collagen that you have. Obviously you are producing collagen all the time but uh, in order to make uh, the collagen you have uh, to stay in an optimal uh, condition. Now I already made a, a video about uh, how collagen is produced in your body and how uh, you can easily uh, boost the production and you can see that in uh, the video I linked to up here. Now uh, what can you do in order to uh, take care of your uh, collagen? Well uh, various uh, studies has uh, been performed and um, it has come to light that uh, if you are using um, an amino acid called uh, taurin uh, then uh, taurin will help um, to maintain uh, your collagen in the sense that if you for example have um, as they did in these uh, labs they had uh, a lot of um, of rats and they fed them in a very uh, high fructose uh, with a high fructose uh, diet and that resulted in some uh, abnormalities in their collagen particularly in the tail tissue in their um, tendons in the tail so uh, there was some lumpy stuff going on and they had some uh, fibrosis going on so that would be um, lumps of uh, collagen filtered in um, together and that uh, you don't want. Uh, so if you have uh, too much uh, cross-linking uh, in your collagen then it will be much more uh, rigid. So um, as you age your body will be less good at uh, maintaining uh, your collagen and that's why you see that when you uh, get older then um, your skin often for people get uh, much more um, thick in a more rigid way um, so you, it's not so plump anymore and it's not so um, bouncy and it's not so pliable and it will go a bit more shallow so some of those things that can induce this is of course uh, all those things that we always hear about the sun alcohol and smoking and all that sort of stuff but also uh, as in this uh, experiment they used uh, fructose so sugar sugar like in, in glucose as well will uh, go in and uh, make damages uh, to your collagen so in order to avoid that uh, to happen uh, it is a good thing to um, take uh, the amino acid uh, taurine in uh, your diet as a supplement taurine is something that you get uh, from uh, your food uh, anyway and um, as you get older you might need a little bit more of it and uh, that will help you uh, to keep your collagen more straight and bouncy than it would otherwise uh, be uh, obviously you can get uh, taurine from uh, your diet as such but here we are talking about doing something extra when you are getting a little bit older and you would not be able to eat uh, enough taurine uh, via your normal diet if you want to look uh, way younger than uh, for the diet that you are able to to get because there will not be enough uh, taurine in uh, your diet i'm pretty sure and um, one thing if you want to take it through your diet we are talking about eating a uh, hard meat and stuff like that and i really don't know anyone who does that i might at some point do that but uh, I, i'm not i'm not there yet I'm just on to liver, so that's as far as it goes with the um, with the awful. So yeah, um, one thing to do is to take uh, uh, the amino acid uh, taurine, and uh, now um, I have taurine um, in a small uh, jar, but I don't have the original uh, container or bag for it. But uh, the company that I use is uh, where I get uh, uh, carnitine from as well, which is uh, another amino acid, and I use uh, the company called uh, My Protein. And I think they only deliver here in, in England, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, but uh, taurin is an amino acid you can get in, I'm pretty sure, most of these um, supplement stores. So that it should not be something that is really difficult to get hold of and it doesn't cost uh, a lot. So how much do I take? Um, I take, and that is a personal choice, I take about uh, 6 grams every day. And uh, that is about um, one of these spoons that comes with it, and it's kind of like this size. It's, it's about uh, three of those spoons, so just to give you an idea about how much it, it is. So it looks like that.
but you might be able to go with less like four grams or two grams or something like that but if you kind of like take uh, 500 milligrams i would not expect to see much of a difference but um, you might uh, one uh, other thing to do is uh, to take a, a vitamin called uh, vitamin B3. So here we are not talking about niacin, uh, niacin but uh, we are talking about a niacinamide. So you are talking about the, uh, the non-flushing form of uh, vitamin B3. And uh, what that does is that uh, studies have shown, and I will link to those studies that I have found in the uh, box below so you can read them yourself. So one of the studies found that um, when they were looking at uh, pulmonary uh, fibrosis, they realized that if they added uh, taurine and vitamin B3 uh, to the um, to the people, then, um, no, th this was not uh, people, this was, again, uh, it was rats. It was uh, done on, uh, so they they saw that uh, they could um, prevent uh, a certain type of uh, cross linking uh, between uh, the collagen strands. So you have the collagen strands, and then you would have some cross linking in between those. And there are a certain uh, um, type of cross linking. Um, and I, I will link. To, uh, I will write down below here uh, what the. Um, the names for them are they are quite complicated as you will see uh, but it's a certain type of uh, cross-linking uh, in the collagen and uh, when they took uh, taurin and they took uh, vitamin b3 they realized that um, the amount of this sort of uh, cross-linking would uh, go down so uh, the idea is that we now see that taurin and vitamin b somehow uh, helps uh, collagen stay uh, uh, on the um, in uh, in lines as they should be and not uh, tangled up uh, in an unfavorable way uh, so how exactly it works is not really understood yet but um, the tests have shown that uh, using uh, the amino acid taurine and uh, the uh, vitamin b3 is uh, something that will uh, help uh, now will you kind of like if you ha already have uh, deeper set wrinkles um, Will a little bit of uh, taurin and vitamin B3 make your skin completely and utter smooth? I don't think so, but I'm pretty sure that it will help if you are uh, both uh, doing something for your collagen as such as how it is produced in your body, which you can see in the video up here. And uh, if you are taking uh, taurin and vitamin B3 in order to uh, maintain um, good conditions for uh, the collagen that is uh, produced in your body, I would expect that you would see a kind of uh, difference within maybe a month's time or something like that. This is not something that will have an effect like uh, overnight or within a week's time or something Something like that it needs a, a little longer uh, in order to have uh, an effect but maybe you would start to see that your skin becomes uh, a little better after um, a month's time like uh, 30 days or something like that that it becomes maybe a little bit more uh, smooth to to the surface and you will see that um, it starts to glow a little bit uh, more uh, obviously these things here uh, cannot stand alone and uh, you need to have a, a good uh, skincare routine as well with uh, gentle exfoliation and all that uh, sort of stuff uh, but um, here you are providing the inner uh, structure for how to get a good looking skin so what you're doing uh, on the outside will uh, show much uh, better you will see a much uh, greater effect uh, from that and uh, obviously um, Taurine is uh, an amino acid and it does other things in the body than just uh, helping you with the, your collagen. So in general, it's, um, it's a good thing um, to take and that was the, the reason I took it to begin with. And I can make uh, more videos about why I'm in general are taking uh, taurine. But uh, today I would just like to tell uh, that uh, taurine is something that will help with um, keeping your collagen in uh, a good shape and as i say um as i said uh, i will link to those uh, studies that i have looked at uh, in the box below so you can read them uh, for yourself now these uh, ingredients like the vitamin b3 and the um, uh, taurine uh, the amino acid they are both things that are really easy to get hold of and uh, the vitamin b3 that i use and which i have shown in some of my other videos is the one from uh, swanson and it's the um niacinamide and 
I can't remember exactly what it cost, but this is again not something that is uh, super expensive. It's uh, not. And um, what I take uh, daily is that I take, this is a new one here, but they are these relatively big pills, um, like um, horse medication almost. Um, so yeah, I take four of uh, these ones um, every morning. So yeah. That is how I uh, take care of my uh, collagen and hopefully uh, this will help you uh, as well. And if you would like to see more of this sort of videos, please subscribe, hit the bell and do all those things to be notified when, you are, when I upload more of this uh, sort of videos. And please let me know if there are anything that you would like me to uh, investigate in regards to skincare. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.